For today's art project, we'll be making amazing buildings. You can make a collage or a drawing. If you are at home, you could even use blocks or Legos. I'm going to tell you about two artists, Paul Clay and Mary Blair, who are famous for their castles. First, Paul Clay. This artist was born in Switzerland and was a painter, a musician, and a teacher. Paul loved colors. He loved painting animals. He painted people. And in all of his paintings, he used simple lines and shapes. This is one of his most famous paintings called Castle and Sun. What shapes do you see in this picture? Did you say triangles, squares, rectangles, and even a circle? These are called geometric shapes. They're the kind of shapes that you might see in math class. Now here's another artist famous for her buildings with a different style. Her name is Mary Blair and she was an artist for Disney. Mary created concept art for some of the most famous Disney films and she designed the It's a Small World ride. Her castles have geometric shapes and organic shapes, which are things like splats and blobs and domes and curvy shapes with no names. So pretty. So now I'm going to walk you through how to make a collage in the style of Paul Clay with lots of geometric shapes or in the style of Mary Blair, which also has a lot of organic shapes. If you wanna make a collage, pause the video and go get yourself some paper, a scissors and glue. If you wanna make a drawing, pause the video and go get a pencil and some crayons, markers. I'm even gonna use some paint on my example down below. All right, so now I'm gonna start by cutting some blocks for my castle. I'm gonna make rectangles and squares, and to make it a little faster, I'm putting a couple pieces of paper on top of each other. Make yourself a nice little pile of shapes. If you're doing a drawing, find something with a straight edge to trace. It could be a ruler or the edge of a notebook or a piece of cardboard or something like that. Line the edge up with your paper and you can make your lines. I'm gonna draw a tower on both sides so that it's a little bit symmetrical right, which means the same on both sides, and then a big shape in the middle. You can make your building however you want it to be. Back to our collage. I recommend putting glue on your paper and then just start building your castle just like you would build with blocks or Legos. With both of these castles, it's all about the details. So I'm gonna start dividing my sections of the castle into bits. I can use my ruler or just freehand it. And my lines aren't perfectly straight, but that's okay, I'm doing my best. Now, Mary Blair would add designs right on pretty much every single bit of her building. Notice there are these curvy lines that she uses to make roofs. She adds lots of triangles to the tops of her buildings and she adds designs inside the squares. Now your castle can kind of have a theme. It could be a kitty castle, it could be a sports castle, or it could just have designs. I noticed lots of X's and diamonds in her work, so I'm kind of borrowing her ideas. She also has a lot of just, again, organic shapes. Shapes with no names really, like flowery shapes and cloverish shapes. So I'm repeating them over and over again and filling up my castle with interesting designs. Back to my collage. I'm gonna cut some squares in half to make triangles. And then you can use both sides of the triangles to create patterns. Try cutting smaller squares and putting them inside bigger ones for windows and you can make teeny tiny little bits for the tops of your castle. Warning, you will get sticky. You can also cut curvy shapes for doors and windows and make sure to use the outsides of the shapes you cut. That's called the negative space. See, I get two shapes for the price of one, pretty nifty. You can keep adding shapes forever or if you get sick of it, grab a drawing tool and draw more details on top. I want you to have fun with this, so feel free to add people, monsters, anything that makes you smile. 
As for our drawing, you can color it or use paint to fill in all the spaces you made.